everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is live from educational tube today i'm going to show you how you can solve question number four if you are new for educational tube make sure to subscribe our youtube channel and share it for your friend in order to access the engineering processes that are very important for engineering for and other grade level students it may be high school preparator or for other university students now let's jump into question number four and show every single step on it as you can see here, a man pulls himself up the 15 degree inclined by the method shown. Consider the mass of the man and the crest, which is 100 kg. Determine the acceleration of the cart if the man exerts the pull of 175 Newton on the rope and the depth all the frictional mass of the rope and the wheel. So, uh, the mass of the pulley and the wheel is negligated, and the pull is as you can see is inclined. And here, the man is pulled the rope in this direction 175 newtons. In order to solve this problem, we can simply use the concept of uh, dynamics, which means uh, first we can uh, we must know the given quantities, then we must draw the free ball diagram of these equations, and finally we can solve this problem by using the concept of equilibrium. So, uh, as you can see, we are given we are given the tension which is 215 newtons and theta which is 115 uh, sorry 15 degree and the mass of the kilogram which is uh, which is 100 kilograms so the tension of the man is i can take 250 newton here but 175 newton you can change it by yourself so we can simplify the given equation as we can see the man is pull the rope in this direction then in this direction we have three tensions in my image cos theta mg m sin theta in this direction so we can use the concept of uh we can use the concept of equilibrium and simply solve this problem as you can see here three tension in this direction minus mg sin theta in this direction which equals to mass times acceleration then acceleration equals to the minus mg sin theta over m after this we can substitute the given value and it equals to 4.96 but here we cannot substitute 215 newton here simply since we are given here 175 degree so you can change it this number and uh, here this number and you can simply simplify the equations and you will get your final answer 4.96 is not your answer for this question since we i can take t equals to 215 newton but the question is uh, the use 175 newton for this problem you can change t is equal to 215 newton and you get the correct simplified answer simply so you can get, solve this problem like this next to you question number five until that have a nice day. <laughs>